Okay, so let's take a look at this question, um, number 15, where we're asked to calculate what the uh, future value of an investment is in one cycle and then feed that into a second cycle with a target amount. Um, and then we're gonna be asked to figure out how many years it would take to grow that, that amount to this, this certain value here. So the first thing I wanna do is that we're going to, I'm just gonna put a box around the two items that we are going to be calculating. So in the first one, we need to look at future value. And in the second one, we're after how many years it would take to get to that target amount. So the first part of this question is we're putting in $500 a month into the account for 12 years. So our payment is negative 500 because that's cash flow out um, going into the account. So put that as minus 500. We're doing it 12 times a year and we're holding this investment for 12 years. So our total number of periods is going to be 144. 12 times 12. Um, we have an interest rate which is set at 5.75% and the uh, present value of this investment when he starts it when he's 18 is zero because he doesn't have any money in there and it's being compounded quarterly over the course of the 12 years so that is every three months so we're doing that four times a year. So if we work this out um, using the, the TVM solver um, you should get a future value of $103,163.01. We round that to the nearest dollar. But that future value of that um, investment then becomes the present value in the second investment cycle. So for the present value in the second column, we will put in this amount, but we're going to make it negative because Again, it's cash flow out of this, out of that account or out of your account and going into this investment. The payments being made according to this investment cycle is he's not actually going to make any contributions to it. So we're going to set that to zero. And our future value is supposed to be a million dollars. So we'll put that in as one million. Now it shows that it's being compounded annually. So you can, the way you have to look at this is it every year it um, produces interest, it pays out and you get one payment cycle for that and then that's added back into the, the investment. So payment cycle is once per year and the compounding is once per year. And we have an interest rate set at 7%. So again, plug those numbers into your TVM solver and um, just making sure we have the sign right. And when we work out and solve the value of n, you should see it's about 33.5 years. So that means if the person starts at age 30 with this investment um, and he puts that initial amount in and he will be 33.5 years older. So it'll be about 63 and a half years um, for him to get a total of 1 million in that account. All right, so this is how we would chain the two calculations together and how you would set them up. Um, the thing to notice here is that our, we're doing it as an investment account. It's not a loan, so we're, when we add the, the money in, either as present value or as payments, um, in this case, we're, we need to make sure that it's a negative value to signify that it's cash flow coming um, essentially out of your account. All right, okay, so that should be a fairly straightforward way to calculate this question.